Students at a local elementary school are demanding the right to choose what they eat. KEZI 9 News reporter Nan Nguyen spoke with the students at Edison Elementary about the recent shutdown of a lunch delivery service. She's live in the studio with their reaction. Nan? Jessica, parents and students said they're a little frustrated by the situation, and they hope that their little demonstration this morning showed administrators just how much. I've never really liked school lunches. They've just always been kind of weird and the, the quality's not the best. I don't really like school lunches. I never have. All through elementary school, I've always brought my own lunch. Parents of these students at Roosevelt Middle School agreed, which is why they reached out to the owner of Ume Grill to bring their kids something different once a week. What started as just a couple dozen students here ballooned to more than a hundred with the addition of Edison Elementary just a few streets away. But just a few weeks ago, the service was cut short. As the school said, the prepaid meals violated a contract with Sodexo, the existing lunch service provider. I was kind of sad because it was it was really good, and the hot lunch, it's not the best, and it's processed. It's not that like that. It's not really fair because you need to make healthy choices, and like you need to like be able to choose what you can have for lunch. So to show their distaste with the district's decision. Students rallied outside and signed plates symbolizing their desire for choices. And as young as these little ones may seem, their parents say this is a real life learning experience. It's something that's going on in their community that is a concern. And I think um, being able to vocalize that and express that um, with other people, um, I think that is really um, an important lesson. And they want their voices heard. All the children now want to say is, we're going to put the pressure on you to deliver, and deliver by September 2013. No more questions, no more surveys. Start the process now, and let us know what that is. 4J administrators said that they're still looking into the contract issue, but the main concern is that the, there is a potential liability that would result from having a commercial vendor dropping food off for distribution. So to solve that problem, parents have already volunteered to take turns doing this themselves starting next fall. Live in the studio, Nanowin KZI 9 News.